Hello my makeup loving friends. You might notice this is a slightly different location. I have moved countries. Um, I have moved from England back to Ireland. So I am starting my new job on Monday. It's all go. Um, there is also another change. I have bought myself a new camera. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this is better quality. If not, it was like £200 badly spent and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, I've also ordered some like lighting equipment so I can kind of do things a little bit better so we'll see. Um, slight other announcement is that I'm not sure I'll be able to film um, next week's new makeup releases because I am going to a wedding next Saturday and the Friday will be taken up with like lecturing all day and then traveling back to the west so yeah I'm going to try and figure out what I can do because I want to make sure that I'm still filming things and I have two things that I have pre-recorded it is on my previous camera so if the quality isn't great that is why but yeah let's just head straight on into it Okay, um, so oh, also this makeup look, if you like it, I filmed the eye look. Uh, it was a palette bingo, so it kind of worked, I think. Anyways, let's get straight into the actual makeup releases. The first thing that was actually announced this week, if I can get it up on my computer, uh, was that BH Cosmetics have collaborated with a German YouTuber by the name of Alicia Marie to bring us a 14 pan palette called 1991. They have seven iridescent duo, iridescent duo chrome shades and seven matching matte colors. And they launched on the 25th of September. Everything moves so fast in makeup, it's insane. And you can get it for 22 euro 50 cents. I really like the colour theme on this. I just, I think it's so pretty. It's, yeah, I really gravitate towards this. Now, I've never tried anything from BH Cosmetics, so this might be the thing to change it. Let me know what you guys think. By Terry Official have also launched two new eyeshadow palettes. Uh, the first is called Salty Fall, which I was like, do they mean sultry? But no, apparently it's Salty Fall palette, eyeshadow palette for 59 euros. And it has the shades Spicy Saffron, which is a smouldering burnt red, Hot Sienna, a sexy copper shade, Famous Brown, which is a rich decadent brown, and Brown Stellar, which is a golden brown shade. And their second palette is called Rose Radiance Palette Eyeshadow and Blush Palette, which is 59 euro. And that comes in the shades Rose Opal, which is a feminine illuminating white rose, Bohemian Flirt, which is a vibrant bright pink, Dazzling Rose, which is a delicate shimmering peach, and Misty Mauve, which is a sexy, smoky, plush purple, and they're available now with By Terry. None of those are particularly interesting to me. Again, if you are familiar with my makeup preferences, you'll know that that was not made for me. Twinkle Apothecary have released a new shade. It's called Sandstone, and apparently it comes in a shimmer, powder, balm, and a serum formula. So I don't know much about that, but it looks interesting. Love Lux Beauty have also come out with some new singles. So they've come out with 12 shades in all. They look quite interesting. I like the shade Hizzle. It's like a deep green. That looks nice to me. Morphe Brushes have also come out with a new black eyelid primer. So they say the primer is ready to transform your killer eyeshadow with a smoky effect and give your bright pigments and glitters bold staying power. It says it doesn't crease and locks color in place for 12 hours and it's available now for $10. Um, I have like a sort of a black base from NYX and I need to start using it because <laughs> I'm a fool. But a black primer is actually really really good if you want to do a smoky eye because you can kind of put it on the the outside edges to really kind of give that deeper color so yeah that's fairly okay I don't see any major issues with that one Huda Beauty have also come out with a new lash style it's called Hoodie and um, they're a pair of lengthy lashes that are ultra fluffy ultra voluminous and ultra long for $19 and they were made available September 25th that's too expensive for um, 
eyelashes for me. I like Eyelure, they're cheap, they're cheerful, they work and I get many, many uses out of it. I would need to be able to use these for the rest of the year if they're $19. Well, maybe not for the rest of the year, but for at least a month. <laughs> like, it's expensive. Um, Dragon Beauty has come out with a new face palette. I think this is really very, very smart. And the reason why I think this is that it's organised in such a way that it reflects common usage. So the, the bronzer shades are very, very big. And though those you do go through, like you go through bronzer shades very, very quickly. Blushes are a lot smaller and then the highlighters are smaller still. So this is made very, very clearly by somebody who understands makeup and makeup use. So I think that's very, very smart. And they are uh, free of parabens, apparently, sulfates and phthalates. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. And they are cruelty free for $45 and will be on sale on October 7th. Laroque Cosmetics have come out with a couple of different things. So they have their bakery box palette, which is £24.99. And that has 24 eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow mattes, pressed foil pigments, um, shimmers, and two highlighters. They also have their pajama party palette, £16.99, which is a mix of pinks and chocolates. Um, they have an intergalactic palette for £16.99, which is a mix of greens, blue, yellow, gold, and browns. They have a sculpt and glow palette for £16.99, which includes six shades, including highlighters, bronzers, and blushers. And they have cosmic kisses palette for £16.99, which has six highlighters. Um, they're apparently available now on Laroque Cosmetics. None of those are interesting to me they're just a little bit too muted but you know let me know what you guys think I when I saw this I did not immediately think Inglot Inglot don't get anywhere near as much credit as I think they probably should because I think they don't they don't put a huge amount of money into their advertising they put more money into actually making the product and and seeing whether or not it works so they've come out with seven new shades of AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadow. Their new shades are 134 through to 140. They look really, really interesting. I am particularly interested in, in that green and that blue. So I may have to get them at, at some point. At some point. I'm being really careful because I've just moved country and, you know, there's always like hidden costs here and there. So... Mm, pray for me. Um, Awake Skin have come out with a ton of new skincare things. So they have their Glow Smoothie Jelly Cleanser um, for $22, but you can also get a travel size for $14. They have their Sweet Hydration Moisturizer for $30, and again, you can get a travel size for $14. They have their Sleep Retreat Overnight Oil Gel for $29 and a travel size for for $12. I think it's really smart that they are releasing travel sizes at the same time as their full size because most people would feel a little bit uh, about dropping a lot of money on a full size cleanser etc if they're not really sure if it's going to work for them. So I think that's that's very smart on their part. They also have their Face Flex and Opalite Facial Roller for $25. I'm not really a fan of those things. I don't really they're quite gimmicky, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe they do work. Maybe they don't. Who knows? They have their Moisture Balm Daytime Lip Mask for $15. I'm interested in that because, you know, <laughs> the fight against chapped lips is real in this household. They have the Rise and Reset Eye Cream for $32. But again, they have their travel size for $15. They have the Spile While You Sleep Skincare Set for $32. And that includes a travel size Glow Smoothie Gel Cleanser, a Deluxe Pour Down Tightening Concentrate, a Deluxe Sleep Retreat Overnight Gel Oil, and a Deluxe Lip Therapy Lip Mask. So I suppose if you wanted to try a few things, that seems to be kind of the cheapest way of, of doing it. They also have their Beauty Sleep Besties Night Skincare Set for $40. Uh, and that includes the Sleep Is My Beauty Secret Vegan Pillowcase. So, I mean, if you're looking for more furnishings for your house, you can also have that. Who knows? A Deluxe Dream Mist Pillow Spray, Deluxe Lip Therapy Lip Mask, and a Deluxe Sleep Retreat Overnight Gel Oil. And they're all available now on their website. So those are 
like quite interesting, I think. There was a collaboration between, and I'm not really sure how to pronounce this, but let, let's give it a go, Le Le Posh Cosmetics and Painful Beauty. That, that'll do, that'll do. So they've come out with a biohazard collection for Halloween. So they seem to be like some eyeshadows, some glitters, I'm not really 100% certain on, on what's going in there, but the, the shades make an awful lot of sense. I took all of these pictures from like a video that they have put up, so sorry about the quality. I tried to put it all together, but you know, it, it's hard. Um, Holla Frog has also come out with some skincare. So apparently it's a new brand created by Emmy Parr and Holly something, Holly MH which is obviously their Instagram handle, and they focus in skincare products made with proven and reliable, never risky ingredients. So they have four face washes. The first is the Kissimmee, so it's K-I-S-S-I-M-M-E-E, Kissimmee -E, -E, Vitamin F Therapy Bammy Wash. It dissolves makeup and daily grime while hydrating your skin for $42. They also have the Tashmu Water Lily Nourishing Milky Wash. This wash calms inflammation and irritation and it apparently has aquatic plant extracts that lock in hydration without leaving residue for $38. They have the Shasta AHA Refining Acid Wash, which apparently clears away pore clogging debris and dull dead skin. Sounds so gross, doesn't it? It's like, oh, that's our skin. Ah, oh, gross. Um, and it has a targeted acid blend that exfoliates to reveal brighter, smoother skin with smaller looking pores for $38. And they have their Superior Omega Nutritive Gel Wash. That was weirdly hard to say. And it's apparently an all-purpose wash which lightly foams to deeply clean all skin types. Omega fatty acids, probiotics and antioxidants nourish and replenish the skin while natural antibacterial properties prevent breakouts and clogs for $36. I mean, they sound quite good. They're expensive though, so I'd want to see how they perform. And I wish... I wish they had done what Awake Skin did and provide like some travel sizes so people could try that. I think that's such a smart idea. Um, so there's Airspun Official and they're apparently available in Walmart and they've come out with some new loose face highlighters in three different shades. So they have Snow Much Ice, Pink Me Up and Glow for Gold and they are $5.97 each. I love a cheap highlighter and often they tend to be quite good, like some of my favourite highlighters are actually the likes of Colourpop. So if if I could find them somewhere, if, if I don't think they're available in Europe though, they seem to just be talking about Walmart, I'd love to try those. If anyone's tried them, can you, can you let me know? I'm interested. Um, Midas Cosmetics has come out with a full collection called the Coffee Collection and they're available for pre-order now. And they seem to be, there's one of the palettes that seems to be like a, a quad of glitters. One is like pinks that do not look that different from each other. And one is like a yellow, a sort of a green, and the rest are kind of taupey brown warm colours. I don't really see how that's coffee, but you know, that's probably me being a bit dense. And then the other one is again, kind of like some orangey yellows and kind of pinky purples. They're not for me. Um, yeah, I mean, they're interesting. Well done. You've new things, but not for me. Shroud Cosmetics. So they were previously called Strobe Cosmetics. I get super confused when people change their names, but they were called Strobe Cosmetics. They are now Shroud Cosmetics. Last week we talked about the Arcana palette that they came out with, but they also have some Mystic Veil Mists and some Biodegradable Glitters, and they're apparently vegan and cruelty free. So it's great to see some biodegradable glitters. What I will say is if they are biodegradable, they're not going to last very long. So when you buy them, you're going to want to use them ASAP. Don't go buying three or four of them and be like, oh, well, I'll use them over the next two or three years. No, if they're biodegradable, they're going to start kind of, I don't want to say falling apart, but they're going to start degrading, you know, pretty, pretty soon. So yeah, buy them if you plan on using them ASAP. Uh, Kylie Cosmetics has collaborated with Balmain and they're launching a collection during Passion, Passion? During 
Paris Fashion Week. I mean, it could have been Passion Week. Paris Fashion Week. Um, so they have a, an eyeshadow palette for $42. It seems to be sort of like pastel, kind of blue, some pinks, nothing earth shattering. I mean, I'm kind of used to that with Kylie at this point. A Paris matte lip kit for $29 and that comes in a blush pink matte liquid lipsticks and soft chocolate nude lip liner. The Model Behaviour High Gloss for $16 and it comes in the shade Cotton Candy, which is uh, a pink with a multi-dimensional pearls. They have lip bundle for $38, which includes a lip kit and a high gloss. And you can get the whole collection bundle for $75. And that launched September 27th. So I think that was after today. Yeah, this has already happened. So yeah. Uh, Ciate London, they came out with their brow pencil thing last week. They've come out with a new gloss, which is meant to be in a plumping formula. So they have three different shades. They have called them their pump plump. I really don't like the word pump and I don't know why, but I don't. But anyways, it's called pump plump and it is 20 pounds and it comes in the shade blossom, which is a pink, honeydew, which is a caramel and cherry pop, which is a dark cherry. And they're available now on Ciate London. Dior Beauty have added some more things to their backstage line. And I would have thought that these already existed but apparently not. They have their eyeshadow palette, which has some shimmers, black and white matte shades, and a base cream for $49. And they have their new glow Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow for $38. I've never actually tried anything from Dior, but none of this is interesting to me, I'm afraid. But if anyone has tried Dior and likes the quality, can you let me know? Is it, is it worth the money? Like, I wanna know. Um, Colourpop Cosmetics because it's been a week, they have to release things. They have come out with new bros, brow boss duos. That was weirdly hard to say. So there are new duos available in nine shades and each have a brow gel and a brow pencil and they're available now for $10. I don't like to spend a huge amount on brow products. Well, partly I have the fringe, so they're covered anyway, but also my uh, brows are fairly present <laughs> one way or another. Um, I had thick brows even when it wasn't in so I don't really tend to do a lot with them but for, for people who do I think that's a really nice cheap alternative. They also came out with some more bits and pieces and they were they were leaked last week so I didn't want to talk about them until they had officially kind of said yeah you guys can talk about this now. So they have a hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer for $14 and it has hyaluronic acid, coconut water, and it gives you sheer buildable coverage, which helps to even skin tone. And it's meant to give you healthy, hydrated, fresh skin. And it comes in 24 shades. If it has hyaluronic acid in it, then it is going to be more moisturizing. So that, that makes sense. And uh, $14, that's pretty good for a tinted moisturizer, isn't it? Um, 24 shades is okay. Um, I'm assuming they'll build on that over time, but it would be nice for them to just release it and be like, here it is, all of it. Um, they have a hyaluronic acid setting mist, so microfine refreshing mist for hydrated skin, $12. I would say if you have oily skin to stay away from that. Again, if there's hyaluronic acid in it, it's gonna be a big moisture boost. So stay away. If you have oily skin, that isn't going to suit you, I would imagine. They also have their hydrating hyaluronic acid primer, which is meant to refresh and prep skin for $12. They have some beauty sponges for $7. That's fairly comparable to, to other brands. Like you can get a real technique sponge for about that much. So it's, yeah, it's fine. I mean, if you're picking up some bits from ColourPop, I guess it would make sense to pop that in possibly, but I wouldn't go there just to buy the sponge. I don't know what it's like. Uh, and you can get a kit, which is a blender, mist and primer for $25. And they were released on September 26th. Essence have re-released a mattifying powder, which comes in a loose powder. So apparently it wasn't in a loose powder before, but now it is. So that is what has changed. So it's meant to be matte and it's a fixing loose powder. Uh, I don't know how much it is, but it's Essence, so I would imagine pretty darn affordable. They also released some new Elements eyeshadow palettes. So there's 
excuse me, uh, four different palettes. They come in earth, water, air, and fire, and each contain nine eyeshadows. Um, yeah, they're not very interesting. Um, the one at the bottom left. So I would imagine though some of those shades on the lid would look exactly the same. So I think more editing was needed there, possibly? Don't know. Odin's Eye Cosmetics, who are an indie brand from Sweden, have announced a new collection of Alva Cream Lip Stains. I've probably butchered that Swedish word, but I did try. And they will apparently have six different colours and they'll launch October 15th. So I think that's quite nice. That would be, you know, if you're going on a fairly no makeup day, but still want a little bit of colour, a balm and a stain would be quite, quite nice though. Yeah, that would, I, I like that. Uh, Lush have come out with 12 reformulated longwear vegan eyeliners and they're retailing for 30 Australian dollars and they come in reusable glass bottles. Apparently you can use them as both an eyeliner or a liquid shadow. There seems to be a lot of blues in the collection. Not gonna lie. I kind of like this. Um, there isn't a Lush nearby. There's one in Dublin, so... I may check that out at some point. Although I have a lot of eyeliners, so. Future Teresa, in like a year, maybe I'll check it out, but not not, not right now. Uh, Revolution Skincare have come out with a lot of new things, which is a collaboration with Jake Jamie. They have their Revolution Skincare by Jake Jamie Toffee Apple Face Mask, which is available for eight pounds or eight euro 99. They have their 15% niacinamide serum for £10 or €10.99. Euro. They have their 0.5% retinol serum with rosehip seed oil for £10 or €10.99. 3% vitamin C serum for £8 or €8.99. Their 12.5% vitamin C. That's a lot. How do they manage that? Anyways, they have their 12.5% vitamin C serum for £10 or €10. Euro. Oh, so that's hmm, similar price-wise across the currencies. Did they make a mistake? Oh, the pound is pretty poor against the euro, which I figured out to my detriment when I tried to convert my uh, English money back to euros, and that was very sad for me. They also have their caffeine tonic for ten pounds or twelve euro ninety-nine. Their Seca tonic for ten pounds or twelve ninety-nine. Their tea tree essence spray for six pounds or six euro ninety nine, and their rosehip seed oil essence spray for six pounds or six euro ninety nine, and they're apparently available now. They also launched two new palettes in their Reloaded series. They have their Reloaded Blackout for four pounds or four euro ninety nine. So that seems to be just like whites, greys, and blacks with some kind of, I think one, two, three brown shades in there. Fair enough. They also have their Reloaded Jeweled for £4 or €4.99. I'd have thought that the Jeweled one would have had more jewel tones in it. It doesn't seem to be as vibrant as I would have thought it would have been. Am I being really mean? Probably. But yeah, they're available now if you're interested. And I mean, that is pretty cheap. I don't know much about Revolution Beauty in terms of the, the quality of their products, but I know that Make Me Up Missa. Uh, who is on YouTube. I love her. She's brilliant. She talks a lot about Revolution um, makeup and she thinks it's pretty good. Anastasia Beverly Hills are very quickly becoming the new colour pop and I kind of need them to slow down. Like it's a lot of stuff. Like it's, it's a lot. So last week I talked about their volume two palette and I was like, what is happening? And now they have their volume three palette, which released the same day as the volume two palette. So we didn't even have time to process it. It has 25 shades for $60. And it seems quite similar to the volume two, in my opinion. But I do really like it because there's greens in it. What are they doing to me? I really want both the volume two and, and the volume three. But again, I need to figure out finances, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait. It's very difficult. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury has launched their latest items and sets in their Pillow Talk range. They have their palette of pops in Pillow Talks for £42. I always think that's a huge amount of money for 
well essentially four shades like it's not it's not a lot they have their lip luster in pillow talk which is a nude pink gloss a pop of pillow talk magic which is a lip a lip and eye kit which is uh retailing for 58 pounds and that's where you get the palette and that lip luster you have your pillow talk lip kit for 55 pounds and that contains a lip cheat in pillow talk matte revolution in pillow talk and lip luster in pillow talk and you can get the Pillow Talk Look, Makeup Look and Complimentary Makeup Back, whatever that is, for £165. And that contains the Luxury Palette in Pillow Talk Cheek to Chic. Um, oh, Cheek to sh Chick? I don't know. Cheek to Chick in Pillow Talk. Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. Matte Revolution in Pillow Talk. Full Fat Lashes Mascara, which isn't in Pillow Talk. So they're bucking the trend. Uh, the classic and Audrey and lip luster in Pillow Talk. Yeah, none of these, I mean, th those are very expensive and those just aren't my shades. Benefit Cosmetics have got a brand new addition to their brow range. They have the Brow Styler, Eyebrow Pencil and Powder Duo. And it's going to be available for 34 US dollars in eight shades. They say that it's Benefit's new brow styler, two-in-one wax pencil and powder duo is all you need, apparently, to create three essential eyebrow looks. The waterproof 18-hour wear wax pencil sculpts and shapes brows. Included signature tips and tricks teach you how to create any brow look you want from soft and full to bold and defined. Yeah, I mean, that's quite expensive. Again... I don't really do much with my brows, so I'll be skipping on that one. Uh, Chantasail have just launched their brand new Real Skin and Eye and Face Stick. So that was that was a mouthful. So apparently it's um, an all-purpose foundation and concealer stick that leaves skin looking flawlessly natural. And it apparently is infused with hydrating raspberry stem cell extract and hibiscus extract for its anti-aging benefits and it's $62 in 12 shades yeah <laughs> I would imagine the shade range isn't fantastic uh, Sydney Grace have also come out with some new cream multi-chrome shadows and they're going to be uh, $25 for 10 milliliter tubes which makes sense um, multi-chromes tend to be more expensive I like it being in a cream formula because I think if I was going to use a duochrome, I'd like to use it as a weird looking eyeliner. Like, I think that'd be fun. I haven't really, I've bought some duochromes that I haven't, or multi-chromes, and I haven't really used them because I'm a bad person. <laughs> um, so I need to kind of try those out a little bit more. I'm kind of getting a bit tired of that trend though. Oh, is it just me? I just, I, mm, yeah, it's hard to put something together on them. Be Perfect Cosmetics have collaborated with Australian makeup artist Makeup With Ja to create the Clientele Collection. So that, that comes with the Clientele palette, which is retailing for £34. The Clientele Pigments for £14.99. And that comes in Boof Head, which is a fun name, in a rose gold Mainzy, which is a white silver, and Sire the Cat, K-A-T, which is a black green with gold reflex. And they also have the Clientele Lashes, which are available for £7.99. And they... Are available right now um nothing there that's interesting to me I don't think you'll be that surprised so thick clash it's either thick lash or thick clash cosmetics don't know which and blending bat um, have collaborated to have a new eyeshadow palette so it's a 16 pan eyeshadow palette for 23 dollars and it seems to be kind of a mix of some primary colors and some more pastel shades not for me but you know to each their own this i thought was really quite interesting tater rounds have basically come out with a collection that's inspired by the shining so right in time for halloween and the colors are inspired by lines etc from the film so there's this sort of um a pigment called red rum so that looks i think all the colors look like they're from the actual movie or like the carpet from the movie i don't know if you've seen it they also have the shade Dull Boy, which is a brown, and Overlook Hotel, which was the name of the hotel in The Shining, which is a sort of a yellow. And they look quite cool, in my opinion. Um, Menagerie Cosmetics have finally uh, given the reveal of their Killer Purr palette. It's exactly kind of what I thought it was going to be. Like, it's not a major surprise. The, the, the shades make a lot of sense given the theme of the palette. 
it's not really for me because I already have a lot of shades like that but I would imagine that it, it would be very good quality because I've heard good things about Menagerie Cosmetics which were formerly monster makeup I think. Uh, the Lip Bar is also releasing some foundations so they are going to be releasing some other pro products apparently including a mascara so that's all the information I have on that. <laughs> there we go. Um, Glaminatrix have come out with a new single uh, shadow called Peachy Keen. That looks quite cute. I, I mean, it's not for me, but it looks quite cute, quite wearable on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, Sun Queen Cosmetics have come out with the Graveyard Wedding Palette. And it's not what I would have kind of thought of for that theme. It's, it's a very warm, neutral palette uh, and it's available for 25 Australian dollars. Uh, Copacetic Cosmetics have come out with the Unicorn Policy palette and it's available now for pre-order for $18. Again, not for me. I would imagine you could use that as a highlighter palette and also possibly an eyeshadow palette. Uh, Give Me Glow Cosmetics have come out with a new shade. It's a semi satin shade and it's called Ruby Rose. It's sort of a mix between a foil and a satin and I just think that looks beautiful. I really like the look of that. And they also have another new shade called My Sunshine and that also looks quite pretty. Hollow Taco, which was made, it's a brand by a YouTuber who does like nail stuff, I can't think of her name, but she called the brand Hollow Taco because every time she was saying um, that she was going to use a holographic top coat, she'd call it a hollow top coat but people thought she said hollow taco so apparently that's where the name comes from they've released two new top coats for 11 us dollars each they have their super glossy taco and their glossy taco so yeah i mean if you're into nail polishes that might be quite good for you fabled fragrances have released uh, some new eyeshadows for their upcoming halloween collection they're very grungy looking colors um i quite like the look of the shade basilisk that looks really pretty. Coloured Rain are also getting into the Halloween spirit because they've come out with a new uh, makeup sponge, which I'm like, oh my god, are you doing the whole beauty blender thing and just coming out with new sponges but in different colours? But I'll, I'll let them slide. I'll let them slide. They have this done in a sort of a pattern so that it looks like those candy corns that they seem to do in the States. We don't have them in Ireland. That's not our thing. Juvia's Place have also come out with, or they are announcing rather, some shade sticks so they're apparently a beautiful cream foundation formula they claim they're easily blendable and hydrating formula contour conceal highlight and perfect creamy natural finish perfect for all skin types and it comes in 30 shades and it's retailing for 16 dollars that's pretty darn good i would imagine they would be very good as like contour sticks I like that. They're going to be available um, from October 5th, so that's quite interesting. Melt Cosmetics are also coming out with an Alchemy Ultra Matte Liquid Eyeliner. And they say it's a pitch black liquid eyeliner that dries down like magic to the perfect ultra matte finish. I mean, I'm okay for eyeliners, but that does sound nice. Um, Lime Crime have come out with some new shades. It's their Wet Cherry Glosses, and it's a limited edition it does seem to be very much for Halloween they have the monster cherry which is a serpentina green sparkle the spooky cherry which is black with iridescent sparkle cherry potion which is an ultra exclusive and it is also on Lime Crown's website it's a red orange sparkle and poison cherry which is a poison berry sparkle and they're going to be available from October 1st now let's get into some sneak peeks uh, Cloud Beauty Company have announced that they're going to be releasing this particular bright red. Uh, Makeup Revolution have also kind of gone, well, it's Makeup Revolution, Revolution Skincare, Revolution Pro, I Heart Revolution and Makeup Obsession because they're all part of the one company, have basically said we're giving you some sneak peeks of some extra things. We kind of talked a little bit about that last week where they had sneak peeked their Cannabis Sativa collection, which includes eyeshadow palettes, lipsticks, mascara, purifying priming water, and calming makeup fixing spray. But they also have three new eyeshadow and face palettes. 
which is their Feels Shadow Palette for $15, their Feels Highlight and Contour Palette for $15, and Foil Frenzy Hybrid Eyeshadow Palette for £8. They're also going to have three new makeup bags in Avocado, Fast Food and Bananas for £5. Brand new edition uh, includes their new Neutrals brush set, so that includes five brushes and a bag for £20. They also have new lashes in 12 styles and you can get a pair of lashes for $5 each. Um, so those are in the style Secret, Barely There and Undercover. Those are their natural styles. They have Wispy styles which are Feather, Floss, Flutter and Fantasy. And they have their volume styles which are Twist, Unravel, Tangle and Labyrinth. You can get a five pack of Feather Wispy lashes for $15, eyelash glue for $7 and individual lashes for $7. Uh, Juvia's Place has also given us a very quick sneak peek of the outside of their palette. Um, it seems to be called the Wahala, which they say is translating to drama. And that is meant to be launching in November. I'm not even going to speculate on what the colors are because I'm never right. <laughs> I'm just never right on that. Um, Lore Works have also come out with a new body wash and it's inspired by what we do in the shadows. Uh, Impulse Cosmetics have also given a sneak peek of some of their new lip products. I know, I'd have thought they were eyeshadows too, but they're lip products apparently. Uh, MAC Cosmetics have also hinted uh, that they are collaborating with Disney for something Maleficent related, but they have said it's not going to be new products, so I would imagine it's just going to be that the packaging is changed. Terra Moon Cosmetics have also given another sneak peek of what I'm assuming is a new highlighter or an eyeshadow uh, that are coming in October. Uh, Max Up The Makeup Cosmetics have also given us a little look of the outside of their new palette which is called uh, Sweater Weather and that's going to be launching the 5th of October. Now let's get into some holiday releases. At least, at least it's like almost October now so I don't feel so awful about talking about this. Pure Cosmetics have launched their Holiday 2019 collection and it is their Crystal Clear collection. They have their Ultimate Face Palette for $38, their Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil for $28, their Jumbo Highlight and Bronzer Palette for $24, their 5-piece Cruelty Free Brush Collection for $38, Crystal Clear Perfect Lip Kit for $15 in the shades Nude, which is a apparently a timeless nude and an opulent pearl and in the shade red which gives you a classic red and a lavish gold I mean that's quite cool crystal clear four piece perfect eye set for $28 the three piece pro eyelash kit for $16 and that's apparently available now on their website Lime Crime basically lost their mind they just came out with a ton of things and when I saw it I immediately thought of Too Faced because the packaging etc reminded me so much of Too Faced but Lime Crime was kind of taken over by another company there recently, so the change might be explained by that. They have their Winter Lights eyeshadow palette for $45, which includes 12 different shades. They have their Best Sellers Mini Velveteens lip set for $69, and that comes in the shades Bleached, Feelings, Red Rose, Red Velvet, Pumpkin, Riot, Cashmere, Wicked, Teddy Bear and Saint. They also have their Jolly Holiday Mini Velveteens Lip Set for $35 and that comes in the shades Saffron, Cindy, New Americana, Rustic and Lulu. They have the Seasons Best Mini Velveteens Lip Set for $28 and that includes Paulette Velveteens, Milk Tea Plushie, Extra Poppin' Wet Cherry. They have liquid highlight for $22 each and they come in a pink glaze liquid highlighter which is a pink sparkle and blue ice liquid highlighter which gives you an iridescent light blue sparkle. They have Venus XS eyeshadow palettes for $20 each and that comes in the, in the shades, styles. Holidays, Vixen and Frosted. They have the mini Velveteens lip sets for $21 each and that comes in Frosted Days which gives you Mimi Moonstone GG. Sugar Days which gives you Dolly, Marshmallow and Sasha. Holiday, Holidays which gives you uh, prized Paulette and Elle. They also have the Blaze and Holiday Mini Lip Blaze set for $21 and that includes the shades Jade, Callie and Clover. They have the Winter Shine Mini Wet Cherry Lip Gloss Set for $21 and that has Cherry Jubilee, Minty Cherry and Winter Cherry. A Holiday Glow Mini Plushies Lip Set for $21 and that comes in Plum Pudding, Strawberry Fizz and Fruitcake. They also have their 
Do You Unicorn Hair Mist set for $25 in the shades North Star and Dewdrop. And they also have Blushing Holiday Unicorn Hair Mist set for $25 in the shades Rose and Petal. Benefit Cosmetics have also come out with some new products. Um, and this is all I can kind of find was this one particular picture. Um, but I've seen more of them in Debenham, so they're available now. It's essentially just a lot of relaunching of things they already have. You know, it's their professionals, their bronzers, their hula bronzer, etc. Nothing, nothing new or wild to talk about. Kiko Milano have come out with some more holiday stuff. They have their Sicilian Notes Maxi Eyeshadow Palettes for $25 each. And then they have their Sicilian uh, Notes Baked Bronzers for $25 each. Sicilian Notes Highlighter Duos for $18 each. And Sicilian Notes Nourishing Bronzers for $18. Real Techniques have also come out with some new brushes for the holidays. They have their Custom Contour Brush for $11.99. Custom Complexion Brush for $11.99 and Custom Cheek Brush for $11.99. Pat McGrath has also come out with some new things for the holiday collection. They have come out with some new quads. Now they've said that there's going to be three different quads, but I only have information or pictures of two. So they have their Blitz Astral Quad Eyeshadow Palette in Iconic Illumination for 65 US dollars. And that comes in an Astral Gold Allure, Blitz Bordeaux, Blitz Brown and Bronze Gold 003. They have the Blitz Astral Quad Eyeshadow Palette in Nocturnal Nirvana, $65. And that's in Incandescent Gold 003, Blitz Aquamarine V or Emerald and Blitz Purple. The last quad I don't know anything about, but they also have their Obsessive Opulence Matte Trance Lipstick for $40. And that comes in four different shades. They have Omi, OMI, which is a mid-tone rose, Guinevere, which is a blooded crimson, Flesh 3, I hate the word flesh, uh, which is brown rose, and Christy, which is a divine beige nude. Murad Skincare have come out with a lot of things for the holiday season as well. They have their pre-party vibes uh, for $60, which is a prebiotic 4-in-1 multi-cleanser, prebiotic 3-in-1 multi-mist nutrient-charged water gel. That's a lot of stuff. Their dewy vibes for $10. Uh, their glowy vibes for $12. Youthful vibes for $25. All-star vibes for $49. Radiant vibes for $72. Renewing vibes for $89. Bright vibes for $22. Vibrant Vibes for $75 and Brilliant Vibes for $25 and finally Revitalizing Vibes for $125 and they're apparently going to be available from October 1st. And that is it. That is all of the new makeup releases, announcements, sneak peeks, etc. for this week. I'm going to see if I can pre-film some stuff for new makeup releases for next week because I really don't want to miss it. But it might be up a little bit later than usual in which case I'm super sorry. I'm trying my best. Uh, but I will see you guys soon. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you're all doing. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.